see what we got. Y'all, I don't know why the battery on my camera is going dead. Because I charged that thing all last night. So I thought. But it's these containers by the home edit. <clears throat> Y'all already know how I feel about the home edit and organization from working with the container store. So. Let's see. I knew this was going to be this size. I don't, this is not the right, this is not the size I need. So this is the size that it is. I wanted them to be longer, like about this high, longer. It came with four. But I actually thought they came in a container, like like a container you push in and out of. It clearly does not. Is there something here I'm missing? No, it doesn't. It came with four of these. But I thought it was inside a actual, like, like an actual drawer type thing. Let me show you what I'm talking about. So y'all see how this is right here? This one I got from Target. But the ones from the home edit were supposed to be just one of these. That way I could stack them side by side or stack them on top of another in our closet. In our storage closet. But that's not what um, that is down there. They don't even have the... What I was looking for was this thing for them to sit in. And they don't have that. They just have the drawer. And the drawer is not even tall enough to do what I needed to do. So even if the drawer wasn't tall enough, I would still keep it if it was enclosed. If it had like a drawer. Like a... Y'all get what I'm trying to say. But it doesn't have that. So it's got to go back. And I'll just go to Target and get some more of these. Because they are on sale this week. So listen. We are training. I tell y'all how bad I do not want to go in here. Like, <laughs> I was gonna make something up. Like, the eclipse is coming. Do we even need to go outside? I said, now, sis, you got goals. Why are you acting like this? Why are you acting like this? Monday comes every week, and you know every week is leg day. Don't, don't do this. I really said. We, we got an eclipse coming. Do I even need to be out so outdoors? I said that. I, girl, we got four minutes before we got to be in here. But I'm just getting ready to sit right in this car. I'm trying to get myself together. Even if my eye ain't together when I go in, I'll be together after I start lifting them weights. So, I think I might be in here with her today by myself too. Oh my God. I feel like she'd be solely focused on me when it's just me. I don't want her to be focused on me. I know what I'm doing. I don't need no focus. Anyway, I'm just talking. So today, when I leave here, I need to go to Target because remember I was telling y'all in the last vlog I was returning this yellow outfit. I'm going to return that. I also think I'm going to return the black dress that I showed you. Because I just feel like it's... It's, it's, it's gonna be hot. It's, I feel like it does not, um, it doesn't do anything for my body. Like, you know what I'm saying? So I'm gonna take that back. I'm also gonna return those pants that I told you I was gonna return. Um, what else, what else, what else? And then I got another pickup at Target. And another pickup at Bath & Body Works. But this page is for the girls. Okay, this this my my channel is for the girls. Okay? My husband watches because he like me. He supports me. But this this is for the girls. Okay? So whatever the girls 
want or need is what we gonna do and that's just on that he really don't have a problem with it though anyway let, let's let's go in here so we can be so we can we be what we need to be okay so we can be what and how we need to be okay all right Girl, that lady kicked my tail. You hear me? I think I burned 331 calories. That's just with weightlifting, y'all. That's no cardio. That's just weights. That wore me out. So, and I still gotta go do cardio. So I probably do like 30 minutes of cardio just on the incline walk on the treadmill. That'll probably burn about 100, 120 calories, but y'all. When you burn weightlifting calories, you know you really worked for them because they ain't easy, they ain't they ain't they ain't the easiest to come by, I don't think. Well, that's just me. I've been doing it for a minute, so but let's go to the other gym. It's eclipsing partially. You know how tempting it is to want to look up. But I'm not gonna do it though. It's partially eclipsing here. I think they said it would be like three, like four thirty when it's like a total eclipse. So I'm gonna make sure I'm home. Oh no, because we gotta go to the stores. Okay, let's go then let's go get the second part of this workout in so we can go on home. Hey y'all. So this is why I keep my hair wrapped up when I go to the gym because it gets curls gone, curls gone. Anyway, 
So I am going to gotta do a little skincare. So y'all know how I feel about the You to the People Super Dream Cleansing Balm. Basically, I use it just as a way to double cleanse my skin. Take a little water with your hands. Just take a little water and mix it in so the consistency of that cleaner becomes milky. And we're just going to wipe it off. Don't forget your neck. You're supposed to get all down through here. I don't feel like doing all that. I done exfoliated and I've exfoliated and I've done, I don't feel like doing all that. Just a regular microfiber towel cloth. I got this in like a 12 pack from Amazon and I use these because I was using the disposable towels. They break my face out. I don't know what it is. They break my face out. So I went back to using these or I use regular paper towels and they don't bother my skin at all. But we just wet this and we, I'll be back. So... I go in with my Olay Henry Skin Oil Control Cleanser because I'm an oily girl, okay? I have oily skin. And so, this is the second part of the double cleanse. Just gotta wet it a tad. And I'll do this, and because I got my lashes done, I'll probably just wipe this off with a towel too. Typically I just go in and I'm like, rinse, you know, just put splash water on my face, but. Cause I got my lashes in, I'm gonna just go ahead and use a towel and wipe it off. But my skin gets, um, I can't do things on my skin that are really abrasive. So like washing my face with like those scrubbing brushes or even a sponge that might be too um, hard, I can't take it. Like I have to use something like this or this is pretty much it because even a washcloth is just too harsh. Um, I can't wash my face with a paper towel. Of course, you know, I don't know why anybody would do that. but. Yeah, these micro microfiber cloths do me well. I only use mine once. I only use it once and then I will put it in the washing machine and just wash it with really hot water, um, baking soda. And if I feel like they need um, anything else, it's rare that I put any like Clorox or anything like that in them. But most of the time, it's just hot water, super hot water. Like we have a sanitizing um, setting on a washing machine so I'll just use that you know like vinegar baking soda uh, baking soda in the wash vinegar in the rinse cycle that's all you need and it gets the bacteria off so I can use these and rewash them and because it comes with like 12 it's fine like it's fine I just wash them whenever I need to anyway so what we're we going in with now Oh, let me show y'all the two products that I bought from, that I told you I had from Amazon last week in the last vlog. So I got snail mucin from, this is Korean skincare. So I got some snail mucin. Jordan has this and she uses this on her skin. So I bought this and I also bought some niacinamide, um, niacinamide drops. I have some. But I wanted something that may be just a tad bit, a little bit stronger. So I bought that. I'm going to use, y'all see, I'm down to the bare bones of my toner, right? This is my favorite toner. And y'all already know what the deal is with me. And oh, they hear red skin, right? Y'all already know. 
it's gonna be him for me every time so this is gonna be something I need to pick up at the Sephora sale I think I'm gonna use my drops first these are my nice cinnamon drops um, I think I'm gonna use these first and then I'll go in with the snail mucin because this is corrective stuff right not right it is so this is stuff that's corrective So, I'll use this, then I'll use the snail mucin. Okay, so I think I'm gonna like this. It feels really refreshing on the skin. I pray it does not break me out, okay? But we are gonna go to bed and I will talk with y'all tomorrow. Hey girl, happy, is it Tuesday? Happy Tuesday, I think. Yes, it's Tuesday. So listen. I went to the dermatologist this morning, right? I had a dermatology appointment that I've had since January, okay? They couldn't get me until April. Went to the dermatologist, told her, you know, some of my skincare concerns that I had, some of the dark, you know, spots that I've been getting on my face that comes after like a hormonal bump or something like that. Why I get in there? Now that lady know I had a cart full of stuff for SO4. She know I did. Why did I get in there? She started examining my skin. She says, yeah, you have inflammation going on in your skin and blah, blah, some other stuff she said, I don't know. But then she was like, you see, I see you have some, you know, like acne right now. Acne at 44 is crazy. Okay, I'm gonna just say that. Having acne all of a sudden at 44 is insane, okay? So she said, I'm gonna describe you. I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, prescribe you a retinoid, which I figured she would prescribe me something. She's like, I'm gonna prescribe you a retinoid. She was like, not only will it, you know, it's gonna help fade the dark marks, but it's also anti-aging. Sign me up. Okay, I'll take that. Sign me up because I don't look old now. I feel like I don't look my age, but I just I I can look a little younger. It's okay. Sign me up. Sis said. What are you using as far as like your skincare? So I told her what I was using. I told her I used my Olay and Rin skin. I was telling her the different products I use. She was like, yeah, no more of that. I was like, um, I said, what? She was like, yeah, don't use that anymore. No products with any acids in it or. I said, so on this 44 year old skin, what do you want me to use? She was like, a dove. A dove face wash in the beginning of the day it's fine and then a dove face wash and a moisturizer ma'am whose adolescent skincare routine is this 
My skin is 44. I need some hyaluronic. I need some niacinamide. I need some toner. I need some glycolic as I need all of that. She said, yeah, just uh, wash your face in the morning. Duff! I immediately said, she don't know what she's doing. Uh, she don't know what she's doing. <laughs> and then at nighttime, it's like face wash, use the retinoid, and use this particular moisturizer. So the products I can get at Target. That was another thing. I was like, uh... I was just taken back. So I got in the car with my husband. He said, I said, this ain't Sephora product. These are not. He said, I knew you was getting ready to go here. He said, I knew you were getting ready to go here. I said, whose baby skin routine is this? Ma'am, you, no. She said, yeah, no. We're going back to basics. I was just looking at her like, are you for real? I was waiting for her to say something else. She was like, yeah, no acids. Uh, girl. Now, y'all know how I am about my skincare, okay? Y'all know how I am about my skin, which is why I started, I went to dermatologist anyway, because I was like, okay, let me just go ahead and get ahead of this, because I see my skin changing. I already have oily skin, right? See my skin changing. She was like, okay. And she told me exactly which products to get for day and night. But I was like, Sephora is having a sale. You know these products is in my cart. You know they're already in there. And to make it so funny, I ran out of... Y'all saw me do the skin... Y'all saw me do the skincare routine last night. And I'm telling y'all all the little stuff to get. Yeah, she said dead all of that. Get rid of all of it. So, here I am at Kohl's. Get ready to go in here and return... The same stuff I showed y'all last night, okay? The niacinamide drops that I showed y'all last night and the snail mucin. She said, get rid of it. Get rid of it. I just don't understand. And so I, you know, tell Jasmine, and she was like, well, maybe, because her and I had our derm appointments together. Well, maybe you've been doing too much. Maybe you've been putting too much on your face and now you need to go back. I didn't ask you nothing. These kids get on my nerves and say, I always want to be up in your business. I just, I was just like, I don't know if she know what she's talking about. I don't know if I trust her opinion or not. I just don't know. So I said all that to say, we've been busted back down to parade detail as far as like skincare is concerned. So I'm going to take y'all on this journey with me to see what happens. And she said the retinoid would take about three months to like actively, you know, work. That's a long time. But I'm going to stick with it. And I'm going to start my new stuff tonight. I'm going to start the retinoid and stuff tonight. We're going to see. I'm going to take y'all on this journey with me, okay? We're going together. Because I just can't believe she just made me. I am a Sephora girl. I am a skincare junkie. Every so once in a while, though, I have to switch up my... I do have to switch up my skincare products every so often because I don't know if my skin gets accustomed to them or what. I don't know. But she just hurt my little feelings when she said that today because I said I, I was on my way to Sephora when I left. I mean, I still went. I still went. Let's go take this stuff back. Let's go take this stuff back so we can go to pick up our new skincare these new preteen skincare products. Y'all can't see how hard I'm blinking behind these glasses, but I just couldn't believe it. I couldn't believe that's what she said. I said, so I came to you for you to tell me to do less. Let's not it's and it's raining. Girl, let's let's just run in here real quick. So I washed my face. Washed, rinse, dried my face. Well, girl, guess what we got to do this weekend? Our own hair. I know it's a first world problem, but I don't have short hair, so I can do it myself. But my stylist will be out of town. I could have went and gotten it done yesterday, but I was like, what's the point in that? Because I'm still training. And I don't want to not train because I'm getting my hair done. So, we're going to do it tomorrow. 
which is not a problem. I can do my own hair. Um, I just don't like to. <laughs> anyway, so she had me get this sunscreen. You're going to focus for me today. She had me get this sunscreen, right? This La Rose Poche. So I was like, well, I'm a black girl. Let me pick up the tinted one. Okay. Let me show you what this tint is. Can I, can I see that? Can I see, who this color? Huh? Who? Who is this color? Not me. Not y'all. Who, who, who is this color? Who? Girl, who is that color? Okay. No, none of us. So... I so I looked at the color and I was like, oh God, I don't know. I don't know. But when I put it on. Girl, look at this. Girl. Girl, it's giving dead. Okay. It's giving gray. Ashy. Funeral casket shark. Okay, casket is get. I don't like this. So look, look at. Am I that? Who y'all play in my face with this? <sighs> but I also feel like it's a really good sunscreen because yesterday. When I used it, I wasn't oily. That was the issue between that sunscreen and this one I was using. So when I went and looked at it, it does not say non-commodogenic. It does not say oil-free. So I was like, maybe this is the reason I've been breaking out. Along with, um, yeah, it doesn't say any of that. None of that. So it's not oil free and it's not non commodogenic. So Jordan has dry skin. So I'm going to give that to Jordan. I feel like if I sit with this for a little bit, it does kind of like seep into my skin. But I don't want this from. Look at this. Ashy? No, ma'am. So I had a thing of super goop around here. When I went to Sephora yesterday, I did see the super goop is non commodogenic and oil free. But I felt like super goop broke super goop broke my face out. But maybe it wasn't the super goop. Maybe it was the other products I was using that probably had oil in them. So I hate that I can't find it. But it also did not make me look ash. What is this? So I'm going to go to Super Goop. I mean, I'm going to go to Sephora and pick me up a small thing of Super Goop and see what that does for my skin. Because this got to go back. This no ma'am. And I was like, this is the tinted one. So imagine me buying the regular. No. Please. I know y'all going to be laughing in the comments. But please with this. Okay, just please. So I had to pop back in here because not y'all's friend telling me. What would you ask me about my face? I said what you got on your face. And then I said sunscreen and you said. You look a little grayish. Ashy. He said ashy. He did not say gray. You said ashy. Well, if you ashy, you ashy. Okay. <laughs> I, in fact, am not ashy. But this, y'all, why did she do this? Why did she? This, this is why they make sunscreen like black girl sunscreen. This is why they make stuff like that. Because y'all do stuff like this. They do things like this. I got this bag in here to take this stuff back to Sephora. I mean, back to Target immediately. And I'm going to go to Sephora and find me some super goop. I'm getting matter of fact, I'm just about to research non-commodogenic oil-free sunscreen for black girls and then i'm gonna report back and let y'all know what i find because this right here like even looking at it in the light what you say actually 
<laughs> Wait, let's take a big Beauty the ashes. <laughs> When I tell y'all, I can't wait to go to bed. Like, I can wait, but then I can't wait. <laughs> so my husband and I went to this place called Taco Mama, and they're just what they say they are. You know, all kinds of tacos, chips. I'm a chips and guac girl, okay? I, you wanna make me happy? Chips and guac or wings. I like a taco too. But we went there because their salads are so big. So today my energy level has been in the garbage. So I knew I probably needed some red meat. I knew my arms probably a little. So I got steak on my salad. But let me just show you how big the salads are. Look at this. I got rice in mine because, you know, I need the carbs. But on here I have pickled jalapenos, cheese. They put quite a bit of cheese on here. I don't like that much. Pico de gallo, cilantro, cucumber, and then my steak is in here. I don't even have to heat this up. That's why I'm okay with it being all together. Then I got, I'm eating my guac, but queso, sour cream, chipotle ranch. And then this cilantro lime vinaigrette or something like that. Y'all, oh, they are so good. But I was going to shampoo my hair tonight. So I went and picked up stuff for my hair. Let me show y'all what I got. So my hair is relaxed. And I got to get, I had to get new stuff for my hair because the girls don't have relaxed hair. They have natural hair. Um, So I need stuff for relaxed hair. Let me tell you something. I don't wash my hair all the time. I go get my hair done. Because I done told y'all, I've been in my DIY era. It's not that I can't do it. It's just that I choose not to. I done been in my do all the things, do all the things. It's my time. If my hair was longer, I would not be doing it. I would be finding me somewhere to go this week. If my hair was, if my hair actually grew out to the length that I know that it's been before. No, ma'am. But let me show you what I got. So I like design essentials because even though I don't wash my own hair often, I still want to take care of my hair. So this is what my stylist uses. Does she use design essentials? She might use a different kind, but the brand is still the same. So I got design essentials. I got the honey cream, um, shampoo, and then I bought the Almond butter, moisturizing conditioner. Listen, this smells so good. I'm just gonna have, did I get it? I'm just gonna have like a little self-care moment. Oh, this smells so good. I feel like this is the condition my stylist uses on my head. But I'm just gonna have like a little moment. Since I gotta do my own hair. I was gonna do it on the, on the vlog with y'all tonight, but I don't feel like it. So tomorrow it'll be. Then I got my favorite Nairobi, um, Nairobi uh, foaming lotion. This is what I use to mold my hair with. And then I picked up this thermal strengthening uh, serum because I gotta have some on my hair when I curl it. And then I just got some styling strips, black styling strips. Oh, I meant to get some clips. But it's fine. The girls might have some. Also, hold on. Now, I know everybody was is swearing by these. Okay? The, everybody's swearing by these, right? They don't do nothing for me. Nothing. <clears throat> I took these. I even took three. It says to take two 30 minutes before bed. I took three. Nothing. I took three one night. Other nights I took two. Absolutely nothing. Child. My body was like, oh, what is this? I literally sat up looking at the ceiling. I don't take melatonin well anyway. Um, just because it gives me weird dreams. But baby, that right there, it's just not for me. I know some people have 
you know, sworn by it. Like, it knocks them out. It just did not do that for me. But I think I've been sleeping pretty well here lately. I'm so excited because I've been sleeping well. I cannot do anything with this plastic for it. But yeah, I am. Um, I've been sleeping fairly well. And I'm, I love that for me. I'm excited about that. This salad is so thick. But anyway, I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna go ahead and eat. Oh. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and eat and get ready to wind down for the night. Well, I've been winding down all day, y'all. I've been in and out of sleep. <laughs> I was like, you look ridiculous. I've been in and out of sleep, y'all. In and out. I was watching the movie on to watch the movie. My son said, dang, you were sleepy, weren't you? Because he came over here. Because him and the girls are going out to eat. Or whatever. Y'all. I'm trying to tell you. And I think I'm doing well. Like I told y'all, it's like... Five days prior to my cycle. I think I'm doing very well. My husband said, he was like, you doing good this time. He was like, I didn't even know it was... Um, He was like, I didn't even know it was this close. That, that, that says a lot, okay? That says a lot. But anyway, I'm gonna go eat my little food and watch some YouTube. And I will probably check back in with you all tomorrow because, girl, yeah, I'll probably just check back in with y'all tomorrow. <clears throat> Have a good night. Happy. Saturday, so excuse the lighting. I'm in my downstairs bathroom. Um, so I think I told y'all I had to do my own hair. Yesterday I did not have the energy to pick this camera up. So I told y'all I had to do my own hair. So I wanted to show you how I maintain my pixie when I don't go to the hair salon, which is rare <laughs> which is rare but I do my I don't do um I know how to do my hair I just don't want to I use this Nairobi um foaming lotion so I make sure that I put a good amount of foaming lotion on my hair um I just try to get it in there really really good um, like make sure it's to the root because you're gonna have to comb it out so I mean comb through your hair to mold it and find that if you mold your hair you know if you mold it right it's easier when you go to curl it so my hair is pretty much because I get my hair done so often it's pretty much you know molded I know which way to go and comb it um, when I mold it and it's just like it's just a matter of preference like when you comb it down like when you get ready to you know comb it I kind of like go in a wrap kind of way because that's just the way my hair like I said is trained to go that way so I make sure that I got plenty, plenty of lotion on here. And it's like, it's not quite, if y'all can see that in there, it's not quite a part, but it's just kind of sectioned off, but it's not quite. I hope I'm doing this right, because I can't see because I don't have my glasses on. But it's not quite like a full part. But it is sectioned off that way, if that makes any sense. And I just comb it down. I really focus to make sure that the back is straight. Let's see if I can show you. And I just comb my back straight down. I just comb the back straight down and I make sure that it's flat up around here then I'll comb this forward because this part is a little shorter and just make sure it wraps around and all in all just make sure that the back is flat 
back in the sides our foot and we're gonna put our strips on here so it'll definitely help as well if you have wavy curly hair like me you could put a little little waves up here if you want to do that i oh, should i do that yeah i can do that now i'm not one of them girls that wave it down i i don't know how to do all that well i take that back i don't do all of that it's not that i don't know how it's just that i don't I've seen a video on TikTok where the girl was like, she just got her pixie done. And so she's like, tell y'all daddies to stay in the house or something like that. And her hair is real cute. And then like two days later, she shows a video of her hair. And she's like, y'all can tell y'all daddies to come back outside now. Because this stuff is a beast to maintain. Unless you just like to do hair or you're good with doing your hair or whatever, it can be pretty high maintenance, especially, especially if you're natural. Which is why you're gonna always probably see a relaxer in my hair, just because I like my hair to lay a certain way. I told y'all that before though, I like my hair to lay. So I'm gonna keep a relaxer. Let me just make sure the hair is laid all around, slick down. And then I'm going to use my styling strips. All this stuff you can just pick up from the beauty supply store or Ulta. I don't have any clips with me, but I just take my, stretch it out, and I start at the base of my hair, and then just wrap it around. Make sure I get enough wet on there. Then I'll go ahead and add another one. I think I add about two. Just to make sure that the back, I might add three today. Just to make sure that the back is laid down enough, girl. Because we don't want no crinkly edges in the back. Okay. I'm gonna put one more strip on and just I'm put one more strip on and I'm just going to tie it in the front since I don't have a clip. And if you can't, if you find out you can't, um, if you have a hard time making it stick, just put a little extra lotion on the thing if you don't have a clip. Okay. And I'm just going to when that happens. I'm just going to tie this up, tie it up. I'll tie it up. These ain't my normal strips. And we're going to go sit under the dryer probably for about 30, 30 minutes, 45, just to make sure we fully dry. And then I'll come back and we might curl it on camera. Good night. So yeah, my hair is done. Well, it's not done, it's done drying, as you can see. So, it's just, you know, nice and flat and molded. I could leave it like this. I may, because I'm busy. So, I mean, I'm not busy. Let me take that back. I'm not busy, I just don't feel like it. Even though it's not much to curl, because my hair is short. But it would just be like a few, a little bumping. Not really even a curl, just a little bumping. But this is what it looks like. I think we're about to leave and go to the park though. We have our great niece with us this weekend. And she's one. So I think that's what we're getting ready to do. Good morning, happy Sunday. So if you hear some noise, my great niece is here. Let me close this door. She might come busting in here. But if you hear some noise, my great niece is here. We kept her overnight. So here's some babies. It's a baby. Anyway, so I am gonna bump my hair a little bit. I wasn't gonna do anything to it. My husband was like, I love your hair flat like that. I was like, oh, yeah. He's like, I always have. I'm gonna bump it a little bit. So let me show you what I got. So I showed y'all this earlier. 
the y'all I'm just I'm still getting used to my camera my camera is new I've had it for a few weeks and I'm still getting used to my camera so when I do stuff like this I I'm trying to get in focus but I'm still getting accustomed to it but I'm gonna use this and I was like I wasn't gonna curl my hair but I was like I paid twenty three dollars for this heat serum just for probably the girls just to use it so I'm gonna do a little something do a little something to it and I have on show y'all what I got on when I get done curling my hair I'm not gonna do a lot I'm just gonna bump it a little bit because um yeah I just I could but I don't feel like doing all of that y'all so but this is enough like if you want to pick this enough to maintain it right here this is all you need just enough I could spike it in the front a little bit mm -mm. we'll see but anyway so I had a and I have my I don't know what size Woo! I can mess up I don't know what size these flat irons are but these are the ones that I have but I have my Real, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a reel of the stuff that I got from Sephora. Me telling y'all I'm not getting ready to curl all my hair and proceeds to curl my hair. I don't have my extra set of, I have a smaller set of flat irons, but I don't know what they are. So... This that'll have to do, but it's not like I have a smaller set that will catch all of that back there. But I don't know where they are. I really think I threw them out. So I gotta put my glasses on so I can see my hair. But anyway, if you follow me on Instagram, I posted a reel of my goodies that I picked up from Sephora, right? The still, sale is still going on. It's on till Monday. I'll link everything everything is linked in my like to know but i will post it here um i'll post my like to know here but i do plan on doing like a formal haul um i do plan on doing like an actual haul i'll post probably post it'll probably be my wednesday post but it'll be like products i use on my skin my mature skin rather i think i've told y'all that but I got some most of the stuff since I have not been able to since my dermatologist changed everything most of the stuff I picked up was like makeup I picked up a couple things that I know I'm going to use but for the most part everything else I got was makeup today I don't have any real plans we're going to my we gotta take the baby go meet the baby's mama which is my niece I meet the baby's mama at my in-laws house to um, take our baby back. Cause let me tell y'all something. My niece is a good mother, okay? She's a good mother. And her baby, my great niece, is a good baby. I don't mind keeping good um, babies. But one thing I want, like people, I've heard people say, I can't, I can't keep, I can't keep no babies. My babies is grown and I can't keep no kids. I mean, and that's definitely your prerogative. But here's my thing. When I was a mom that age, I needed somebody to help me. I needed somebody. I needed a break. People ain't think you need no breaks because you had one child. But okay, I needed a break. And my mom would keep my kids every weekend. My mother-in-law would keep them ever so often. But my mom would keep my kids just about, she would have my kids spend the night with her just about every weekend. And then, like for a mom, child, you need, you need help like that. Like you need that help. So when my niece calls and she was like, hey, Y'all think y'all be able to watch the baby? Yep. 
and it don't bother me not one bit to watch her. You don't. People be like, you, it's taking, you know, you, I can't keep no kid. I don't mind because everybody, like, be to the young girls what you needed when you was that age. And sometimes they just need a break. And I don't mind giving her one because she's a great mother. She is, I tell her that all the time. I say, you're such a good mama. Cause I know how it feels when you at that age and you feel like you just can't do nothing right. You don't know whether you um, are, you know, doing the kids the right way. And you are. She's a wonderful mother. And I tell her that all the time because motherhood is hard. It's a hard, it's a hard thing. Um, it's a hard thing. So y'all, I'm just literally doing a couple of little, little bumps in my head. That's it. It ain't nothing hard, nothing. Literally a couple of little bumps. I tell my husband, I was like, I'm getting ready to color this hair because it's too gray. He's like, no, don't do that. I am. He's like, I like your hair. I do. I, I'm glad you like it, but I got to like it. I got to love it. Because y'all know all I'm going to do is sweat this week, right? Sweat in the gym. And so I'm going to finish this up and then I'll be back. Girl, this is it. This is all we got, okay? When I say the pixie is high maintenance, this high maintenance is in the sense that you probably gonna be doing it all the time. But once you get the hang of what you're doing, it's not hard. I just don't wanna do no hair. But once you get the hang of what you're doing, it's not hard. Y'all see, I put a little, that's all you need. That's all you need right there. Little bumps, okay. some little bumps, and then I just that's it. I don't, I don't, I go see my hairstylist this weekend. That's all I need <laughs> just to look good, still look good, look presentable, you know. That's all you need, girl. Anyway, that's all I got. Let me take y'all in here. See. Let me take y'all in here to show y'all what I got on and then I'm gonna close out the vlog. So, y'all seen these two pieces before. This is what I'm wearing today. And I'm wearing my shoes that I picked up from Target. I love these shoes, y'all. They are so stinking comfortable. So I'm putting these on. I don't put outside shoes on in the house. And then I'm just throwing on my black shoes. And this is what I, this is all I got today, sis. I don't know why my husband asked me to wear this outfit. Knowing I'm bloated, but it is, I'm, I'm gonna do it for him. I'm only going to my in-laws house, so it's fine. Mm. So this is the fit, okay? This is what we're doing today. This is what we're doing today. Fragrance I'm gonna wear today is Miss Dior Blooming Bouquet. This is a light, this scent is light and fresh, so it, um, it's good for me just chilling today. Um, yeah, it's good for me just chilling today and me not really doing much. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. I feel like we was a little bit all over the place today. I mean, all over the place this week, but that's just, you know, real life. Every day ain't. Can I help you? <laughs> Every day is not, um, we ain't adventuring every day, some days. And these are my weeks to where I just chill. I just, these are my weeks I kinda tend to wind down and like go inward and do a lot of self care. But anyway, I hope y'all enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. And I love y'all and I will see y'all next week.